Hi guys, so after waiting for the whole morning, I have finally completed the process and I can now tell you exactly what you need to do to apply for the Youth Mobility Scheme or the Young Professional Scheme as it's now called. Let's have a look. So the first thing you need to do is go to this website and I've left the link in the description below so you know what to look for. And what you need to do is click on you must enter the ballot online. Now, once you come here, you may or may not get a queue depending on what time you're applying and how many other people are applying. But this is the page you're going to see and it will automatically update and take you to the next page. Now, once you get to the next page, unless you already have an account which you've used to create some other or apply for previous passports or previous visas for the UK, you will need to click on create an account. Once you reach here, you need to select whether you're doing it for yourself or for somebody else. If you're doing it for yourself, just click on myself and click continue. After this, fill in your country of nationality. For all of us applying, it's going to be India. So just type out India and click continue. After this, fill out your passport details. You need to enter your passport number. You need to enter the country in which your passport was issued, which will again be India. And you need to click yes for the expiry date and enter the expiry date that is mentioned on your passport. Now, after you're done with this, the next question they're going to ask you is your date of birth and enter your date of birth, click continue. The next thing you're going to see is your name. Now, if you have no last name, enter your first name as your first name. If you have a middle name, enter it there. And if you don't have a last name, enter your surname as your first name. So if my name was just Ashika, I would enter it as Ashika and in the surname I would also enter Ashika. If you do have a surname, enter your surname. After this, the next thing you're going to be asked is your email address and make sure you type it right because you're going to get a security code on your email address. So enter your email address, click continue and enter the security code that you receive. After this, you will have to enter your phone number and once again, you will get a security code on your phone number. So make sure you enter the right number. If you are applying from India, put plus nine one and then put your phone number. If you're applying from the UK, put plus four four and then write out your phone number and you should get a security code. After this, if you want to add a helper to your account, click yes. I'm just going to click no. After this, it's going to ask you to review all of your documents. If you want to make any changes, this is where you make it. So please be 100% sure all of the information entered here is accurate because you won't be able to change it. After this, you will have to sign into your account again. So click sign in. And here now you need to enter a passport because that's how you have been applying. So click on passport and click continue. Then enter your passport number, enter your date of birth. And after that, it's going to ask you how you want to receive a security code. So you can pick either your phone or your email ID and click continue. Once you fill in the security code that you get in, click continue again. And now you will see the ballot page. So on the ballot page, click continue application. If you want to delete it and you decide you don't want to do this anymore, click delete, but I don't think anyone's going to click delete. So now what you can see is uh, the expression of interest in the whole young professional scheme. So download a copy of the PDF for yourself and then scroll to the bottom. The next thing you need to do is fill out your contact preferences. So click on that and it'll ask you which email address you want to use for them to contact you. I would choose the same one that you applied with unless you're doing it for somebody else. So I'm just going to click on the first one and click continue. And after that, we're going to do the application. So now you need to read the declaration that is given out over here. I am going to pick, I am the ballot applicant and I'm above 18 years and click continue again. Now, after this, you now need to upload your passport. You can either upload a single page or you can upload two pages separately. So what you do is you click on evidence upload. And after that, you click on the continue button. They've already mentioned the criteria here for what you need to do. It needs to below, be below 6 MB and all of that. So read that and then start uploading. In case you want to upload the front and the back page of your passport, which is what I suggest you do, you can either put them both in one document or you can upload two separate documents. After you upload it, it will ask you if you want to upload another file. Now, depending on whether you want to or not, you can do that and then you can click continue again and it'll show you the file has been added. Click continue again and then click confirm and upload. After this, they will ask you to confirm if you know what's going to happen after this. So what you need to do is click submit and they're going to tell you the next steps, which is something we've discussed in our previous videos. And if not, if you've not seen that, you can just read it over here and see all of the requirements that you will have if you get successful in the ballot. And then you click confirm and submit. What you now have is a UAN or a unique application number, which you need to keep. Please take a screenshot of this. And like you can see here, they have told you you will 
receive or be contacted in the next two weeks to tell you whether you've been successful or not. In case you're successful, you can then go ahead and apply for the visa for the Young Professionals Scheme. What you've done right now is just applied for the ballot, or which is like a lucky draw. If you are successful, you can then go ahead and apply for the visa. And that's it. You now know everything you need to know to apply. So go ahead and do that. I won't take up too much of your time. All the best. And I hope, I hope you are really lucky and you get selected.